What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for love and surprise boxes? I got her a present. I don't know what's in it. That's right, nerdlings. I got Lady Lacey a present, something that I ordered for her over a year ago. Which I have, that really means I have no idea what it could possibly be. I have been on pins and needles so excited to give this to her. There you go, dear. <gasps> oh! <laughs> so awesome! <gasps> nice! It's right. the big version from Limited Run Real of Zombies quick, Ate My Neighbor. What is one of your favorite Sega Genesis games of all time? Zombies Ate My Neighbor. When Limited Run offered this and with the sequel, Ghoul Patrol, yes. that is uh, actually new to us because yeah, I've never played, played that. The <laughs> they obviously showed off the big set and she really, really wanted it. I did. But she didn't think we had the funds at the time. I had some side funds. And so, yeah, I surprised her. Uh, they did pack in a card. Limited Run likes to throw their cards yes. in there. Uh, some kind of weird gun. That is one hell of a gun. <laughs> That's a BFG. That is cool. Look at that. Right off the bat, you've got, like, the swirly thingy that would always swirl, so you can kind of make it swirl. Like the stage start? Yeah, the stage start. That is cool. It's got some really neat graphics kind of all the way around it. So that is fun. And we got the Switch version, my favorite. Oh, is that teeth or stalactites? Oh, it kind of looks like teeth, yeah. You're weird. You're a weird guy. Then we Look have... Look into my yeah. eyes. Subscribe, like, comment, send coffee. <laughs> I'm a weird guy. So we got the Super Nintendo box. Now that should be noted, even though this one comes with the Super Nintendo box, which is fitting yes. for the Nintendo Switch, you did prefer it on Sega Genesis once again. Yes, yeah. And so the other cool thing is you get an actual water gun from the freaking game. That is awesome. <laughs> wow, wow. I didn't aim it at your head. Gun safety out the window. Don't do what Donnie don't does. This does take me back to the days of uh, the squirt guns that we had growing yes. up. The one that I remember was the Zap It. Uh -huh. They initially came with like a colored, like a dye. Oh yeah, that I remember that. you could put that. in the water yeah. so that you could see that you, oh you yeah. got someone. What is the significance of having a squirt gun? Because that is your them. main weapon. Which this is the guy's weapon actually. The guy had the red one, the girl had the blue one. Wow! Holy cow! Talk uh, okay, yeah, you see it right here, but... Wow. Nerd. <laughs> so we also get the official soundtrack collection, and it's two discs worth. There is Zombies Ate My Neighbor, the original soundtrack. Which has an amazing soundtrack. I've always loved the music. Like Zombies the exit. Ate My Neighbor. You can exit if you want to. That's going to be great to play at Halloween when we're passing out candy Ooh, to the kiddos. There we go. And then we got the Ghoul Patrol official soundtrack. And then behind it, <gasps> that must be their exit door. <laughs> also, because the guy wore 3D glasses. Nice. So you yeah. get the 3D glasses. How, how did he do that running around outside? Have you ever tried to wear 3D glasses outside? It kind of messes with your eyeballs. And then we have a poster. So it is double sided. So you have the Ghoul Patrol. That art is great. That it's, is pretty great art. I love how the characters look like a Saturday morning cartoon. And then on the other side, you have the big gun from the card. And just a smattering of other things, mm -hmm. too. And then you have your very classic Zombies Ate My Neighbor cover. That is great. You know, I've always liked the cover anyway, but actually the poster is fantastic. Yeah, because it definitely looks like a horror movie poster. Well, not that we have wall space, but I would I do love to put wanna, this one Yeah, up. I was going to say, I kind of want to put this, this one This is one up. poster that I feel like maybe we'll try to yeah. make room for it. 
And then on the back, you have a stylized version of the guy character, but it's a really cool um, art style on this one. You know, I mean, that zombie looks great and gruesome. The, the main character here though, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting some strong MC Murr vibes right there. <laughs> it totally looks like him. He, he's out, you know, just doing the thrift game right now. Also in the box, we've got some cards. These are fun they cards. They are fun. So they're glossy on one side, but then the character side, they're a little more textured. And as you said, the pixelated design, I mean, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. And then of course, it wouldn't be a game without the game. Oh yeah, this comes with it. This game comes with a <laughs> this game. This game comes too. with a game, how silly. Well, obviously. Split cover here with Zombies Ate My Neighbor and Ghoul Patrol. And look at that, it comes with a manual! Awesome! And it has a Super Nintendo vibe. Oh, oh, wait, That's hang a on. That's 3D. Hang on. This Gu guys. Does this still work? Guys, I'm serious. It's a legit 3D cover. Oh my gosh, seriously? Whoa. <gasps> ah! Oh, oh, it's okay. He almost got me. The whole thing inside is 3D, which is really cool. And you've got the people, neighbors you've got to save, and of course they're 3D. Uh, it even has all of your different kind of weapons that you can use, and your keys, Ooh, and your that items. will actually be very handy because you do pick up a lot of items, so knowing what their purpose is will be great. And there's the different monsters and everything. That is really cool that they made the entire thing inside 3D. That is really, really cool. So much fun. At the back, a neat way of logging your passwords in case you don't, you know, want to just write them down boring style. You can do a little crossword puzzle. Crossword, password puzzle. And since this is my game, it's my game. Nobody's ever going to touch our Switch games. Good, they're my games. And then we get the steel book. Ooh, that, that looks is nice. Shiny. Oh look. Oh sweet. Yep, the cover is 3D. That is so cool. I love that they went like over the top with the 3D stuff. Yeah, I mean that's a, a nice extra touch. They obviously didn't have to do that, but they went the extra mile to make the cover of the steel book 3D. And you know something else I noticed? Oh, is that actually the box? The box is 3D too. Wow! Nice. All right. So like All everything right. in here is 3D. Thank you so much, dear. This is so cool and so awesome. <laughs> was it a surprise? It was a big surprise. <laughs> I completely forgot about this. Uh, I practically forgot about it too, honestly. <laughs> uh, you know, I I know there's a lot of issues with uh, supply chain and stuff limited right now but what do you think of the quality of everything here honestly it's really cool i think i'm the most impressed with how many 3d things are are there i mean that was a big thing for us in the 80s is they tried to make everything 3d and so it's just it's really neat to see them bring that back especially old school style 3d with the red and blue shades after seeing this not gonna lie I kind of want the other one now too, just, oh, to, just no. so that you have the, you know, the full set. Well, you gotta have the matching. I gotta have guns, the matching you know, gun, and you know, we can get the the Genesis or the yeah, the Genesis box. So, one last thing, what is it about Zombies Ate My Neighbors that has always drawn you in? I mean, what's what's something about it that's obviously so endearing that's made it one of your favorite games of all time? Um, I think because one, like you said, it has a really great soundtrack. I also liked how quickly the levels were because it was basically just, you know, you run around. There's not, I'm not a platformer. I'm terrible at platforming. So there's no platforming in this, which I love. But you can just, as long as you save all the, the neighbors, then the door pops up and boom, next level. So you can make the level last as long as you want. I do love anything and everything horror related. I love horror movies. I love, so this was really up my alley when I was trying to find a, a fun game as a kid to play it was you know different genres of horror you know you did have the, the the zombies you had vampires you had killer babies killer clowns mummies so i mean it, i felt like it touched on every single genre that i enjoyed and also one other thing that was really really big to me in the 80s and 90s that i loved is i got to play as a female character which is not that doesn't didn't happen a lot back then so the fact that i got to play as a female character 
as the main character was pretty awesome to me. <laughs> All right. Well, nerdlings, obviously let us know any of your Zombies Ate My Neighbors or Ghoul Patrol memories. We would love to know if there are some more fans of this series out there. And let us know if you went after the limited run set. Did you go small and just go for the game? Maybe you only went digital. Did you get just the uh, the next step up where it came like with the boxes and the cases? Or did you go big like this? And if you did, what did you think of this? Leave some comments about Limited Run. Where do you stand on those? I know that that's a big hot topic of late. Uh, personally, I think Limited Run is at their best whenever they are bringing digital only games to a physical medium versus re-releasing games that don't necessarily need to be re-released, in my opinion. Like, when you start seeing Nintendo 64 games getting a re-release, it's like, eh, I mean, I don't know about that. If only it was that easy, Tom. If only, uh, yeah, 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 I definitely need to drink a control. I actually lost, I think I've had a stroke. And smell toast. The only time that I don't mind them re-releasing a game is if there isn't a digital version of it. So like, there is a digital version of Zombies Ate My Neighbor, so I was able to play it on the Wii and the Wii U, and then again on the Switch. So, that was okay for me not to have a physical version. But if there's a game that I really enjoyed playing back in the day, and I want to play it now more on a modern console, um, then I would like it on a re-release. But I'm also one of those people that I don't mind re-releases, because I don't need to play it on the OG system. I want to play it on the system I like not the original fair, system fair enough so. hey fair assessment <laughs> all right well leave those comments down below like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and put on your 3d glasses and see if this next part is in 3d don't forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram go over to t public because we've got merchandise over there hit us up on the retro refresh and if we like it nerdlings we nerd it unless you're a zombie and you're eating our neighbors which honestly that's fine Eat away. <laughs>um, so apparently I've never been on YouTube before and it's like my favorite thing ever and um, apparently uh, sometimes I like to watch other people's videos and apparently I don't always hit subscribe but that doesn't mean that I don't like the shows. <laughs> Mess up my yawn. Bye, nerdlings. Sorry, I couldn't pick it up. I was going to do something. I can't get it either. <laughs> I know. It's like, well, damn. <laughs>